Hello everyone. Um, well, today I'm over at uh, my dad's workshop um, because Ermintrude needs a quick uh, bit of TLC. So I'm going to do a bit of uh, prodding and poking and uh, see what we've got. So the underneath actually looks uh, pretty good. I checked out uh, all the joints. Um, <coughs> found uh, one just in front of the torch that's uh, a little bit iffy. That's what I'm going to replace. But other than that, everything's looking good. There's a bit of an oil leak coming from uh, from somewhere up on the engine on this side, but uh, nothing that I'm going to uh, worry about for something that's done uh, 300,000 miles, and uh, I'm really not going to complain. All the pulleys and everything look good. There's actually not much rust under here, but I guess they uh, don't salt the roads in London like they do around uh, around Salisbury. So uh, yeah, very little rust, really. Exhaust and everything all looks good. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting stuck in and doing a bit of TLC with it. Uh, I know the gearbox needs uh, an oil change and the solenoid block changing, um, but again, that'll be something for the future. Back end all looks uh, tickety boo. So uh, we're in the pits to have a uh, quick look-see underneath. So far everything looks uh, actually in pretty good condition. So I've, uh, I've, I've checked underneath and uh, I found uh, one uh, dodgy joint um, on the rear right-hand side. So I've got to order some bushes uh, to replace those. Um, other than that, it all looks pretty good underneath. Um, brakes and everything all look fine. So um, as the main bits are right, let's uh, get on and fix some accessories. First up is uh, getting some power sorted. So um, as you can see, I've got the earth on there. Got the live on there. I've just doubled up on the live going into the fuse, going in there, and that buggers off through the uh, through the seal. Okay, bit of a bit of a destruction here as I'm uh, working. So I've got a main on off, so you turn that on and off, and then that turns the power off to a uh, to a module, which at the moment is hanging down here. So this is quite cool actually. So power goes into there, then you've got outputs there, and they're all controlled by this thing. So when it's switched on, see it lights up, and then you've got different uh, things, and you can switch them on and off just by touching them. clicking away as it turns the relays on in this box. So I'm going to use that to run the um, all the lights and all the other fancy stuff that I'm going to put in here because it makes life easy. And then I've got a spare uh, live and neutral which is going to go to the radio. So I've got two radios to go in here. I've got the, the Wuxang 950 um, which is a, uh, a multi-band radio. I'm only going to use it on VHF and UHF so I can talk to uh, local repeaters. Uh, as I'm a radio amateur. And I've also got a CB, it's in the back. It's lurking in the back, there it is. So a uh, CB to go in there, all this lot's got to get sorted out. Got my antennas up. So rear one CB, front one is uh, VHF. Although that's gonna get cut down uh, to about 13 inches long, which will be UHF. And then uh, I'll put another one on here, which will be uh, a VHF, and it's that one lurking in the back there. I've had good results of that. Um, got tablet in there. That's running View Ranger um, Talk Pro, which is the OBD software, which is plugged in under the steering wheel under there. Um, so that's got all my navigation and everything. Then uh, I've got a phone mount up here where I can clip uh, the phone in uh, or anything else. So uh, it points at me, so it's good for doing vlogging and things. Um, and I've got a whole host of uh, lights and things that I'm going to put on here. So uh, yeah, watch this space and see how I uh, get on with it all.